This is Jason from Optitech USA. Um, we're going to go ahead and make a video here on how to uh, trace frames. Um, I got one example of each. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started uh, today with a metal frame. So here we're in the home screen. So you're going to go ahead and get your metal frame and you're going to go ahead and just clip it in, top and bottom. And you want to kind of eyeball it. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to get out a PP stick and try to get it exactly in the center. Just kind of eyeball it and get it as close to, to the middle as you can. So once it's click, clipped in there, we're going to go ahead and um, you can see these. the first set here is frame, bevel, demo, or rimless pattern. Your second one is metal, plastic, rimless, or groove. And then you have your eye, which is both right and left. Your options, which is per protect, DBL, or flex and then your wrap is auto, low, medium, or high. So on a metal frame, we're gonna go ahead and pick, it's a frame, obviously it's a metal frame. We're gonna trace both eyes. It's not a flex frame, it's just a standard frame. So we're gonna go ahead and just leave this alone. And then the wrap, I like to always leave it on auto. Honestly, I don't ever change it for anything, just always leave it on auto. And then what you'd wanna do is go ahead and put in your job number, your tray number, however you guys, uh, keep everything uh, so sorted in, in your lab. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the number one, and then you just hit start. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna go ahead and the stylus is gonna come out, and it's gonna go ahead and trace the right lens, or the right frame, I'm sorry. And then it's gonna go ahead and switch and rotate over and trace the left eye. Now once it's done, you'll have all your information here. This side's going to be your left eye, this side here is going to be your right side. So you're going to have your um, your D DBL, which is here, your half A, your full A, and your half A again. Um, and then you have your B and your C and your half Bs. So all your, your numbers are right here as far as the sizing. Um, you're going to have your, um, and then for you guys that do your digital lenses, you're going to have your tilt angle, your curve, your right ED, and your left ED. Everything is going to be right right here, and it's really accurate. So once you hit this point, um, depending on what you're using the tracer for, whether it's hooked to a machine or if it's hooked to a uh, software or whatever, um, mine's hooked to software, so I would, I'm just going to go ahead and hit send. Um, but if you're hooked to a machine, it's going to hit, it's either going to be send or save. Trace um, once it pops through, it'll just go ahead and go right back out to, to the home screen. So you, you're, go, you're done with the metal one. So now we're going to go on and do a plastic frame, just your standard Xyle frame. And again, just put the frame in there, try to get it as center as you can. So this time we're going to be doing a frame obviously a frame again, except this time we're going to be doing a plastic. We want to always try to trace both eyes. It's not a flex and we're just going to leave the wrap on auto and again I'm just going to use one again. All right, so it'll finish here again, and then again we have all of our numbers here, and again you have your tilt and your curve and all that if you need that in information. Um, and again, once you get to this point, you can hit um, just hit send again, and it'll go ahead and send the information or save the information for you to edge the job. Trace received. All right, so the next one we're going to do is a little bit harder. We're going to go ahead and do a a groove lens which is the, uh, the ones that have the uh, fishing line at the bottom. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and put it in a uh, lensometer and get it flat on the table and just put the try to get it in the center of the lens and just go ahead and, and spot, spot it up. And that way I have the 180 line that's level. So what you got to do now is we got to go ahead and get this 
bad boy out that you've seen in the earlier videos when we were kit calibrating. Um, and uh, we have the lens here, and we're going to go ahead and just try to line that lens right up with the, the lines on here. And we're going to always try to trace the right lens. So um, I don't know why it's just habit, but I, I just pr prefer to always try to do the uh, right lens unless you have to do the left lens. So once we get it lined up on there and it's flat with your dots, um, go ahead and put it with the lens to the right. We're going to go ahead and clip this thing in here. Now this time, the object, instead of being a frame, we're doing a rimless or a pattern lens. Now, on your second side, it's not a drill mount, which would be rimless. It's going to be a groove lens, which is going to have the groove in it. And then you want to set your eye. We're tracing the right eye. Now, if you had to trace the left eye, then you would just change it over to the left eye, and you're telling it that we're tracing the left eye. Now, if you don't do this part uh, correctly, when you edge the job, you're going to edge it eye for eye. So if we're tracing the right eye, you always want to make sure you're telling it we're tracing the right eye. And again, we're going to just forget about these here, and we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to use one again, and we're going to go ahead and trace it. Now what it's going to do here, it's going to trace just the right eye. Now once you get the right eye traced, um, we're going to go ahead and prompt it's going to prompt and uh, it's going to want you to enter the distance be between lenses which is located on the frame. This one here is a set 17. So we're going to go ahead and hit 17 0 and then you're going to go ahead and hit enter. Once you hit enter it's going to populate up here in the deep DBL and then you're going to see send is going to highlight. So we're going to go ahead and hit send or save. Trace and then once it goes through it'll pop through on, on the home screen and then you're good to go on that. So the next one we're going to do in final is the drill mount. So again, before I take the lens out of the drill mount, I like to dot it up to get the 180 line. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to line that up on that same thing again that we did on the last one and just get it right in the 180 line. Um, as far as it's sitting on here, you want to just try to get it in the center as much as you can. It just needs to be eye eyeballed. The more important thing is just getting that 189 or the 180 line level and that's why you want to go ahead and dot, dot, dot it up in the frame on the lensometer before. So once we get it in there, again, we're going to put it on the right side and we're going to go ahead and do a rimless pattern and then this time it's going to be a rimless lens. Right side, we're going to be doing the right eye again and I'm going to go ahead and use tray number one and go ahead and hit start. Thank you. Have a good day. And now after it gets done tracing, again it's going to prompt the DVL, which is right here. So again, located on drill mounts. This is a silhouette, so usually they're located on the top right of the lens. Um, but usually they're located somewhere on the temples or even on the uh, the bridge here. So anyways, this one here is 19. So I'm going to hit 190. Oh, hit clear because I pushed the wrong button there. So 190, you're going to see it pop populate over here. And once that's right, you just hit enter and then you'll see it populate right there. Boom. Now real quick, since we got a second here, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to alter shapes because you're going to get people that say, oh, um, well, this is a 49i, but the guy wants it to be a 53 or a 51. So anyway, so on the A, which is located right here, we just go ahead and highlight that. And you're going to see it. It's going to pop up o over here. So it's 48.9 to be exact. It's not actually a 49. That's how accurate this per particular tracer is. So they want it to be a 51. So we're going to go ahead and hit 51.0 and hit Enter. And then you're going to see it change. And that's the exact size. Um, that the lens is go going to be and you'll see it po populate here on the A where it says 51. Now you can alter that, you can alter B, so if you want your B to be different you can instead of 32 if you want it to be 30, 36, hit 36.0 and you'll see it, it'll change. So you can almost make a lens on this machine right, right off a demo. 
So after you get it to where you want it to be, and just go ahead again and hit either save or send, and once it goes through, it'll populate and just go yes. right back out to, to the home screen again. So that's it. Um, that just kind of shows you a rough overview on how to do basic frame tracing on the uh, di Dimensions Tracer. Thanks for watching.